As the lockdown continues on the central coast, local heroes are busy helping the communities most vulnerable. People are struggling, they're, they're really struggling at the moment, but amongst all of this we're seeing all these community members who are rallying behind us and, and assisting us and, and helping everyone else as well. So um, I know it's difficult, I know it's hard, but honestly the, the community spirit at the moment on the central coast is, is fantastic. Every Wednesday evening at Kibble Park in Gosford, Coast Hands dishes out free meals and groceries to the homeless and those financially struggling. Supply clothing, blankets, toiletries, um, you know, sanitation, all that sort of stuff, whatever people need. Um, a lot of what we do is, is based around uh, the meals. We do frozen meals to five different neighbourhood centres as well as outreach services. Um, and everything we do, really, really importantly, is, is free. Every single thing we do is for free. Since July 2020, the Coast Hands team comprising of 68 volunteers, including members of the Knights Motorcycle Club, have provided more than 5,000 meals to Coasties. Uh, probably about 18 months now. Yeah, 18 months I've been a part of it. Michael has been, he's been, he's been doing it for a lot longer. So yeah, it's happy, it's happy to be a part of it. It's just rewarding coming down and giving the people that need it, um, you know, good food, clothing, some drinks and everything, and uh, just spend a bit of time with them, give them a chat, see how they are. Coast Hands founder Mika Weeks says they wouldn't be able to do it without the support from others. The, the assistance that we get from local businesses who cook for us, they supply the staff for free. Um, the meat, the veggies, the, the pasta, the rice, the sauces, everything that goes into these meals is free. And guys like Shoebox Revolution, South Lakes Incorporated, um, we normally come down to Kibble Park with uh, soul soup and pass it on clothing and Orange Sky. Um, so there's, there's a lot of us all over the place who sort of bounce off one another and, and work together to, to help as many as we possibly can. And if it wasn't for Central Coast Primary Care and these people, the orange truck that helped me dry my washing and stuff like that, um, I don't know what I would do. And it's getting tougher and tougher. This COVID is definitely worse than the first one. For any coasties struggling, it's recommended you reach out to your local neighbourhood centre. While a lot of the neighbourhood centres are, are contactless, you can't go in there, you can ring ahead, you can organise with these guys and they can give you the information. You can come in and do a contactless pickup. They can still point you in the direction of, of the services that, that you require. That's, that's probably the best bet um, for a lot of people who are struggling in the local area. And for those who have some spare cash to splash, the more help, the better. Um, the best way to help out is, is just shoot us a message. Um, if you're in a financial situation where you're, you're good and you want to buy us, you know, some groceries for argument's sake that we can take to the street, by all means, please do. Um, we can't really take clothing and, and that sort of thing at the moment because of the lockdown restrictions. It, it takes too much money and time to be able to wash every single thing in a deep clean that comes in. Um, so the best way to help would, would just be to, to send us some groceries or, or get involved that way. Sky Hull, Central Coast News.